Yo, what's going on, yo? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. We got a UFC 287. UFC 287 video. Um, I'm just looking at the odds, and the odds is just too, too juicy. Two, one, too juicy. Um. I'm on Bovada, of course. I'm in a slave state, but also have FanDuel. I'm all, uh, able to look up FanDuel, and um, I'm going to tally that up as well just to see how it goes. So, all right, so USC 287 is the, the main event for this is Alex Pereira and Israel Adesanya. And once again, on FanDuel especially, Israel Adesanya is a favorite. He's lost three times to this dude. Two times been knocked out. Now, he's the favorite because he dominated. Pretty much, not dominated. He won at, at least four rounds. At least four. Four and a half, three and a half, however you want to put it. He was winning the fight up until he got knocked out. But again, he's been knocked out twice. This is the fourth fight. He's lost the previous three. Alex Pajeda at plus 134 on FanDuel. I'm going to go on FanDuel because y'all free, not me. That's good money. That's just great money. That's just great money. <laughs> the, 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 the guy who's won the last three fights is the underdog. That's that's great money. The co-main event, Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal, right? So Gilbert Burns is a fantastic fighter. Jorge Masvidal is a good fighter. Jose, Jorge Masvidal is on a losing streak. But he's on a losing streak, to be fair, to the two of the three top guys in the division. Gilbert Burns is an uh, amazing, incredible uh, fighter, striking, wrestling, jujitsu. He can do everything. Gilbert Burns being favorite to win is not surprising. It, that's not a surprising thing. Him being minus 530 to win. Minus 530. Minus 530 to win. That's a no-go. Jorge Masvidal plus 360 to win Sauron win a fight money line is great money. Gilbert Burns, again, he's a, he's a better fighter than Jorge Masvidal. Stand up, I don't know. But overall, he's a better MMA practitioner. He's more accomplished than Jorge Masvidal. Minus 530 is some Valentina Shevchenko type shit. You have to be a dominant champion for me to give you minus 530. That's way too much. So plus 360, Jorge Masvidal to me, good money, great money. Um, The next thing, I think I have uh, five, I think I have five fights. Uh, did I have five? I have six. I have five. The next one, Chris Curtis. Versus Kelvin Gaston, right? Now, this is it's pretty much in, you know, how they have it. Chris Curtis is the action man. Minus 138. So they have it as, as somewhat of a pick -up. My thing is, I think Chris Curtis is good. Kelvin Gaston, he's been out for a while. Kelvin Gaston has fought nothing but elite competition in his career. Beating Kelvin Gaston means that you are ready to be in the upper, upper tier of the division. If you beat Calvin Gaston, that means you're ready to fight either the champion or top fiver. Right now, it's a little convoluted with Pereira, Whitaker, and Izzy. Um, so that means beating Gaston means you're probably ready to fight somebody in the top seven right now. Which is, I don't know if Chris Curtis is ready to fight somebody in the top seven. So, Calvin Gaston plus 108 again. To me, this is good money. Plus 108. We got this all parlayed together. We're going to parlay it all. We're going to parlay it all. We're going to throw the money. We're going to burn the money away. The next fight, Chris Barnett versus Chase Sherman. I have several rules when it comes to MMA. And losing several fights in a row is a 98% chance. I'm saying 98% because I'm going to go against that in the next fight. But it's going to be a double negative in the next fight. Chase Sherman has lost four of his last five to eh, 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 competition. Andrzej 
Alexander Romanov, I would say that's not the in, in, in competition. Everybody else kind of in, in, in competition. For the last five. Chris Barnett, I'm not saying he's UFC champion, but he's an exciting fighter. He knocks people out. And I think he has a, he's dynamic enough to do something with Chase Sherman. So this is not a um this is not a, a high level, you know, like a Masvidal and Burns going to be. But Chris Barnett at plus 220? There's no way Trey Sherman can be a 3-1 to one favorite to beat to beat anybody. I, I, I'll be fair. Um, I'm just going off his record. You know what I mean? I have to go off the results. Uh, so Chris Barnett plus 220 is good money. Now, this is the last fight we're going to battle. And the, the last fight is it's on the same card again. Cynthia Calvillo versus Lupita Gondinez. 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 Right. So this is very, very, very much a pick 'em for me. This is just something to throw an extra. To me, this is the this is the one where I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm just looking at the odds and I don't like the odds, right? So let me type in Lupita. Lupita, she's won two of her last three. She's lost, well, she's she's two and two in the last four. She's three and three in the last six, right? She's three and three in the last six. Uh, everything was a decision. She got a, 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 a submission a couple fights ago, 2021. You know, she, that was five fights ago. She's been very active. That was five fights ago, but it was in 2021. She's been extremely active. And that's one of the reasons why I have to go to the other route, right? So she fights Cynthia Calvillo, who is also not on her own industry. She's lost the last four. She lost to Nina Nunes, uh, KGB Lee, Jessica Andrade, Caitlin Chukagian. But she's fought better competition, obviously, the, the ladies I just named. And she's lost by stoppage. I want to throw a remote in my own wrench, my own pick. She's lost by stoppage several times, uh, two times in the last four. Two things I never go for people that's lost by stoppage. I'm going against a lot of rules here just because of these odds. I do not think that Lupita is a minus 350 favorite against Cynthia Calvillo, who simply just fought better competition. When she was winning, she fought better competition. And when she was losing, she fought better competition, way better competition. And the, the step up that Lupita took, she just took it against Angela Hill, uh, and she, she lost there by decision. I don't think um, Jessica Andrade, Kaitlyn Trukagian, look, she lost. Kelvio lost. She got KO'd. But everybody is KO'd against Jessica Andrade. Kaitlyn Trukagian, you're going to get point fight if you if you can't get in there and do something. So I'm going to go against my own word here on everything just because I think that minus 350 is a little too crazy. I think if that minus 350 is, is probably going to work. From for Lupita, it's probably gonna be a decision win. I understand that, but Cynthia Calvillo has just fought much better competition. She's lost four fights in a row. She's getting another one. Maybe she don't lose her fifth again. This is a complete toss up. Just going off the odds. Plus two fifty five. This is the one. I don't have anything educated to go on. I don't. I don't. I just. I just look at the competition when you're fighting in the UFC. They fight the best of the best all the time. And win or lose, you're fighting the best of the best. Either you're going to fall completely off or you're not. But you're fighting the best people all the time. So in all these fights, it's all underdogs. Pejeda, Masvidal, Gaston, Chris Bordet, Cynthia Calvillo. If you weigh five dollars, wait, no, damn, damn, five dollars, yeah. If you put five dollars, that wins twelve hundred dollars. I can't bet this. I wish I could. I'm betting on Bovada. If you bet $10, that is $2,500. If you bet that 10 and you hit that 25 on your boy, hit your boy up. Break your boy off. Let your boy know. You put in the work. You got $2,500. Give me two Whoppers. No tomato, no onion. Throw some jalapenos on that thing, and that'll be paid me back. Thank y'all for watching. These are educated guesses. I'll holler.